Hello, budget kings and queens. Welcome to my channel. Today, I will be doing my budget with me for paycheck number one. And then I will also be doing my cash stuffing for my weekly stuffing. And I'm also going to do my favorite challenge that we are doing as a community, which is the save money hop. All right. That's created by Donna and of course, Mama Bear, right? And then the community is doing hop by hop with savings. So I'm going to update this because I do update it uh, every pay period because I do get paid bi-weekly to catch up with everyone that is doing this challenge here, all right? And so at the, I guess the beginning of December, um, when Donna gives the final date of when we can actually unstuff these and do what we need to. I look forward to that final number of savings. Okay. And let's begin. Um, as you know, I do live in the state of Florida if you're a returning subscriber, but if you're new, I do live in the FL. So please, again, um, keep my families in your prayers. And if you have any family members that are in Florida and in the areas where the um, Hurricane Milton will affect I will definitely pray for them. So let me know in the comments below, are you yourself in Florida or you have family that is in the area that may be affected um, due to the hurricane that's on its way? All right. Um, the reason why I'm doing this video is simply a little late. And when I mean late, I'm doing it late in the day. So hopefully if I have power and we're uploading it, hopefully it'll upload on the correct date. But if it does not, Hello and welcome on whatever day you are watching it, okay? Um, because, of course, certain areas will have power outages, and I don't know when that will occur for me, but I did record this video um, not so long ago, and hopefully it uploads, like I said, on the correct date. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy what I have here for you, and if you do, don't forget to subscribe like the video and comment. I would love to interact with you in the comments below on my channel here. We do everything that has to do with budgeting and reaching financial freedom for me and my family of five. And so let's get into this um, budget with me and then also cash stuffing. Okay. And as I mentioned, again, please keep my family in your prayers. I've been prepping all day, um, moving all the furniture and, um, out of the front yard, the backyard, and we went grocery shopping. And I did a little bit of laundry just in case we don't have power and everything like that. So we could have clothes and everything. Uh, we do have clothes, guys, but just in case we don't have it for a couple of days with power, I want to make sure that we have clothes just in case I have to return back to work, depending on how the aftermath will be. Okay. So anyway, that's just a little update about that. So let's get into this budget. Okay. And let me let you know what is going on and go from there. All right. When you're doing your budget, let me know. Um, have you already done your budget with me and cash stuffing for your paycheck number one? Or are you already cash stuffing for paycheck number two? Because we all have different pay periods. Some people get paid bi-weekly, weekly, monthly. So let me know in the comments below, okay? All right. And also let me know, are you doing the save money hop? I'm curious to know how many people that watch my channel is also doing it as well and is current, okay? All right. So let's get started. I'm going to move my everyday wallet out of the way for just a second. And I'm going to scoot the save money hop. And I'm going to just place it right here. All right, to the side with my cash wallet. And then I'm going to go ahead and just grab my bank cash envelope and my calculate put it to the side. All right, so this is how much we'll be cash stuffing and we'll go over those numbers. Let me turn this around and share with you my budget, okay? And I'll use this, one of my favorite sticker books that was given to me by my pumpkin and we'll go from here. Um, typically I budget 1600 after I pay uh, my regular deductions from work, health, dental, vision, okay? And I take a little bit on the top for church, of course, and a little bit for mortgage, but that was from the month prior. So for this month here, the paycheck number one, um, instead of pulling out 1600 to do my budget, I did work less hours, okay, for paycheck number one, because there were some days I was out either to, due to my kids being sick or due to me being sick, okay? And I can hear my voice sounds funny, um, so I guess I'm getting sick too with all the rain, different, uh, excuse me, different temperature changes, 
And um, yeah, I can hear my voice sounding funny already. Okay. And so what I have to do my budget instead of the $1,600 is $1,493.50. Okay. And the 50 cents, of course, will stay in the bank, but I want to be transparent. So I'm putting it on the paper. Again, I have pre-written all of these categories simply because I know I'm doing cash stuffing and my budget in one video. I like to do them separate, but since I may not have a chance to do it separately due to the hurricane heading our way and I may not have time to record, I'm just combining the two together. Okay. So again, that's the income that I'm bringing in to do my budget. Okay. And I worked less than I typically do. Okay. Right here is my rollover. I have a total of $155.87 as a rollover. And when I add those two together, it gives me $1,648.50. And again, the cents will remain in the bank, guys. Okay. So anyway, let's move forward. And I'm just going to write uh, that total here as well. Okay. I have it here, but let's put it here. So actually, let's grab that marker. Okay, and that way I'll have it here. Okay, let's move to the next section. The bills that I will be covering and mortgage, we usually take the care of that at the beginning of the month, me and my hubby. And that is due to me pulling a little bit off the top of when I get paid and leaving it in my bill account. And then my husband pays the difference, whatever that may be. And then he covers that, but we never share that. Okay, but I just want to let you know that it is paid for this month. The next expense we have for our electric, um, we're budgeting 250 23. Okay. But when I do my expense tracker, I'll update those final numbers. All right. For my trash and H2O, we're budgeting 181. Okay. For that expense. And for Netflix, we're budgeting $27 for Apple storage. And that's for my kids, Apple devices, um, where they store everything. And when I do video recording, um, that's $4 and my Canva, we're budgeting 13. When I add all those up, Okay, that gives me a total of $448, okay? And then for my everyday wallet, and hopefully you can see that in frame, okay? And I'm going to scoot that. Yes, I think you can. All right, for my everyday wallet, I have my following cash envelopes, okay, which are my variable expenses. I have four eating out. I budgeted $150. Um, I typically put $50 in here, of course, but because it was my mom's birthday, I put additional $100. So that's why it's $150. And I left the $100 in the bank and the $50 I pulled out. So we will be cash stuffing. Let me grab a highlighter. And sorry for hitting the tripod. Um, let me move. Okay, and we'll be cash stuffing just the the 50, okay? And again, the 100 stayed in the bank so I could take my mom out to eat, okay? And use my debit card. For my gas, I budgeted uh, 60, okay? Because I knew that we're dealing with the hurricane and I know they would uh, bring up the price at the gas station due to the storm headed our way and they did. So we budgeted 60 and that is what I left in the bank. There's a star next to it because I left those in the bank. Let me put a star here as well. And just the reason why I didn't do it before is simply because um, I'm budgeting stuffing $50 in my envelope, but 100 stayed in the bank, okay? So it's like a split one. And then for um, personal, I am cash stuffing 25 in this video, okay? And for groceries, I left that in the bank, okay? And that's just because, again, I am shopping due to the hurricane, okay? And I did. And so um, I left that money that I would be stuffing in envelopes and actually left it in the bank. And I actually had my daughter, told her while I was at work when we first heard about the storm, to grocery shop. And I told her she had a budget of 100 and I left 100 for me to shop with if I needed to. And I did place an order online to pick up the additional things we needed um, than what she was missing out of the groceries that she physically went into the store for. Okay. So that stayed in the bank, the whole 200 and for kids, I am budgeting 50 and that's if they need anything, um, for school. Okay. And then for the home, I budgeted 25. I left that in my, uh, bank for my debit card because I did purchase some things for the hurricane that are not food related that went for the home category. Okay. And that was due to that. 
So that stayed in the bank. So just the highlighted ones, I will be cash stuffing in this video. Okay, and those all totaled up to 510. The next category, I'll move this to the side and hopefully you guys can see it. Let me see, yes. All right, so for this category here, I have my, um, the template has sinking funds, but sinking funds, when I do my minis and I reallocate the funds, that is when I stuff the actual categories for my sinking funds, but I don't actually stuff them currently when I'm doing my budget, okay? Just a FYI. So I cross this out and I put SC, which means saving challenges. Now this also has a saving challenge box, but it is too small for me to add all the challenges categories that I'm doing. So I just put my buffer because that's an amount that will be left over and will be left in my bill account just in case my fixed expenses are not um, the correct amounts. What I mean is if it's higher, then the buffer will cover the difference. And if it's not higher and what I budget, it's less, then um, I will have that fund left in there for me to save for my mortgage that's coming up in the upcoming month. And that's how I always do that with the buffer. Whatever's left, then my husband pays the difference and he pays the mortgage. So I always like to leave something in there. And if something happened and I need to use my money, that is also part of the buffet, the buffet as well. The buffer, excuse me, guys. All right, so for this section here, um, the categories that I have for my sinking funds, as I told you, this area is too small. I put saving hop, which I'm gonna be stuffing with you guys today in this video. I'm gonna highlight it, and this will be the amount that I will be cash stuffing for budget with budget, excuse me, with budget with budget with budget bestie, excuse me, guys. Okay, for this category here is my group play, and I have already done the first part, which was some games. I already budgeted $50, and I did use that for my recent um, group play saving games, okay, and my channel, so I already took care of that. For my mini Mondays, we are going to cash stuff that at least to divide them into where they need to go. So when those times come for me to do the video, the money will be there. And for Freebie Friday, okay, which is Friday freebies, I have budgeted 35 and we will also stuff that or put it to the side for that video. And then for budget with budget besties, okay, which is BFFs, right? Which is my group play for the scratch off and save, right? I am going to pull that money aside as well. Sorry, there was not enough space to put the that part on here, but you get the point. Scratch off and save. And that is my second part of my group play savings. And I budgeted uh, 30 for that. And again, um, for my B-Day sinking fund, because I did at least one, and this money I did leave in the bank, which is why it has a um, the little star here. And that is just to let me know that it's in the bank. And I did leave it because I was purchasing my mom B-Day gift and I've already given it to her. Um, for those of you who didn't know, her birthday was October 5th and we celebrated her all weekend long, okay? And so I was able to purchase her gift with that amount there. When I add everything, it becomes 336 and the buffer amount after all of that, and I'm just gonna grab my calculator so we can minus everything, I'll give you the buffer amount so we'll know. And then for this section here, for the debt, I only have my toll fee, which I always like to put money in there for my son pass for transportation. And then for this one, uh, postage and mailing, I budgeted 50 because I have some things I will be mailing out uh, very soon. And so I want to budget that amount for that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to minus the amount real quick to go over it. And we're going to catch stuff and it'll be a wrap, okay, for paycheck number one, actual budget with me. And this template that I'm using, by the way, is by Beautifully Me and You, which is Celicia. And this is from her um, budgeting um, planner that I have purchased from her. And this part is, I just printed the digital one just to do this budget with me, with you guys, okay? And I actually have the physical book, but I just printed a copy and hole punched it. Once I complete it, I will add it to the little planner folder I have that has been completed. All right, so let's quickly minus what we have from the actual above. So my income that I'm working with is $1,648.50, okay? So then I'm going to minus my fixed expenses, and that is, so I can show you here, is 448, okay? And that gives me 1,200, excuse me, 
So I'll write it here. So we'll have it here to know. Okay, and 50, okay. And then when I minus this amount from 510, right? We're taking it out of this, which is my cash envelopes. That gives me a total of 690 and 50 cents. Again, keep in mind the 50 cents will remain in the bank, of course. And then for this section here, which is my saving challenge category, okay, which is why I abbreviated that, I'm going to minus this section, and that is 336. And that gives me a total remaining left of five, excuse me, 354.50. And once I take this amount, I then minus my debt section of 70. That gives me $284.50. Okay, and that will be my buffer amount. So I'm just going to plug this in here. Okay, and then when I minus my buffer amount, because that will go in the bank and every money I bring in has a job, we're going to minus the buffer out to put it in the bank, which is already there because it's direct deposit. That's what's left over. And that will give me a zero base budget. Okay, kings and queen, quick little budget, but I just want to explain it just a little bit before we cast stuffing so you can know what I'm working with and where is it going. I'm just going to plug the numbers in here real quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if you hear any noise in the background, that is my pumpkin. Okay, she's the only one with me downstairs. Everybody else is upstairs watching scary movies. Okay, and I will be joining them very shortly. But I said, let me finish my video and upload it. And hopefully it will get uploaded on the same day, depending on how the internet and everything is going. Okay, with the storm, hopefully. It doesn't have any, excuse me, any interruption upon uploading, okay? All right, and then my buffer is 284.50. Um, 284.50. And then the debt is 70. And everything should add up to 480.50. Sorry, guys, the little corner is like small. And then we end up with zero, okay, as a zero base budget. Hopefully you could see that and understand it. All right, so let's get into the cash stuffing. All right, and that is the portion of that. And hopefully this video will not be too long. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cash stuff the save money hop first. All right, to get that out of the way, um, since I'm cash stuffing multiple envelopes, and that should be very easy and simple to do. So here is my save money. All right, hop. And here's the money. So what I'm going to do, let me count it real quick for you. Um, with the ones, this is my cash breakdown. And this one has been made by Butterfly Digital Co. But her channel has changed. And I will link the new current name, which her name is Mercedes. And you can get this from her website that she has listed under her description on her channel. Again, I will link her channel if you would like to use this in any future bank deposits or withdrawals, right? If you ever need it for the bank. So let's put this to the side. Um, I have the ones and the ones I'm not going to count because I have so many ones. Okay. But to save us time, I'm not going to count it, but I do have a total of $86 in ones. Okay. So let's just put that here. Okay. And then the rest, we will go ahead and count. Okay. To not make the video too long. All right, so we have 86 already in once, as I said to you. And let's just put that right in. Okay. All right, and then now we're going to add 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay. So that is. Okay which makes it 126. Let's see, putting it this way, we have enough space. And then I'm gonna add 110. Okay. And we're gonna do 20, 30, 40, excuse me, 60. Okay, that's 190. And then we have 850. 
Now, this is the first time I'm cash stuffing less funds than normal, but it's because I went a little cashless and kept everything in the bank due to the hurricane, what I typically stuff. Now, if I need any funds and um, these are not enough, I will always have my binders where I can pull from and then add them back in once I am doing my next stuffing if need be, okay? Just a FYI, that's why they're here for you to use them as you're saving. But if something comes up, you gotta use it, you gotta use it, okay? So let's go ahead and stuff uh, my save hop, okay? So here it is here, let's get updated. So for giving generously, all right, I currently have $100 in giving generously and I need to get it to 108 so that means I'll be adding $8 to this, okay? And we are in, I believe, let's see, we're in the ninth, okay? And I hope that's correct. Yes, that's it, I believe it is. And we are adding a total of $8 to make it 108, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and pull one, five, six, seven, eight, okay? And when I add that in, that'll give me 108. And I do have it in here, guys, but let's see. Make sure I put that in. And I'm just gonna fix it. And that is what I have in here, okay? And that is 108, okay? I'm not gonna count it, but I know exactly what I have in these envelopes, and by adding the amounts, I know what it will be, okay? And that is a total of 108 for, okay, giving generously, okay? So this one has been updated. The next one is my holiday, and that is number two, and I should have in this envelope, um, after watching the last video from Bitten by Numbers and Mary Love Country Living and Laura Bell Creations, I have the updated amount. So let me go ahead and write that in, 10, 9. And I am adding a additional of 7, okay, which will give me, let's see here, which will give me 90, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and grab five, six, seven, okay? And that should give me 90. And let me just put that in where it's supposed to be. Put the five in. And again, this one is 90, okay? Oh, wait, I forget. There we go. I was like, wait a minute, that's a little bit off. And there you go. <laughs> I was like, where is the prop money? There you go. And the additional amounts that you see I have prop money is actually in my sinking fund account that says holiday for Christmas. Okay, so it is all in there. The two that makes it 50 is in the bank. And then this amount is in my envelope. And again, I now have 90 after updating the funds. The next one is my debt, which is number three. And for debt, see what we got okay we currently have 100 okay and I'm gonna put 10 9 and we're supposed to be adding in debt plus 5 which makes it a hundred and five all right so I'm gonna grab one five dollar bill and that is that so let me go ahead and pull the funds and there you have it okay And that is 105. For the next one, which is the uh, self care, I currently have 91, and we're getting it current. So we're doing 10, 9. And if you hear a noise in the background, it looks like my pumpkin already fell asleep. Okay, waiting on me to join everybody else upstairs. All right, for the movie night. Okay, so for this one here, which is the self-care, I am adding plus three, okay, which should make it 94, okay, for this, boom. Okay, so I'm adding three, so that's one, 
two, three. Okay, and that's for self-care. I'm adding that additional fund. And we're going to just put it in where it needs to go. And again, where you see the prop money, that means I have the money in the bank in that Pacific sinking fund, okay, for self-care. All right. And I will be working on a self-care binder. So whatever I save here, I'm going to use it to do um, some stuffing in my new binder with that fund that I have from saving, okay? And so far, it's ending up being a good amount. Okay. The next one is this one here, and that's emergency. For emergency, I currently have 85, and we're updating it. And so for this one here, emergency, I'm adding $2, and that will make it, let's see, 85, 86, 87. Okay, so that's 87. So I'm going to do 1, 2 to update that. All right, we're going to add it to the back. And we're going to grab the funds and add the additional two. And this is all that I have. Okay. Again, this will be for emergency, a total of 87. Okay. The next one is old poop, which is a lot of people's favorite envelope. Okay. Because be happening. And if you know what I mean, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> if you get the hint. Okay. Let me know if you're doing the hop, what is your favorite two envelopes, okay? Now, for this, I am adding an oop oh, oop. Oh, um, let's see, a total of $11, okay? So when I add 11, we're going to do, uh, just to make sure I give you those numbers right, okay? And that's 116, okay? 116 to get it current we're gonna go ahead and add 11 so we're gonna do let's do uh, we could do singles if we needed to maybe let's do 10 11 okay we'll, go, we'll do that okay so now we have added that in excuse me guys I have like a little runny nose. Like I said, our temperatures are changing around here. So along with it is me getting a little sick, runny nose, a little sneezing here and there. Okay. And then so this one has been current. And there you have it. I have updated what needs to be updated. So this one is all good. And now we're going to go ahead and do my everyday wallet. All right, and for this one here, I am only stuffing the Pacific categories that we spoke about. And what I'm going to do, grabbing it out my wallet, I'm going to go ahead and pull my envelopes. And we're going to pull the ones that we are actually doing. Okay, so I'll put it like that. And I'll put this set aside. And we're going to do the gas, like I said, it's cashless because it's left at the bank. Okay, and personal, we're going to do that one. Kids, we are going to do that one. Eating out, we're going to do that one, but I left $100 in the bank to take my mom out to eat for her B-Day, which I've already done, so we'll only be stuffing 50 in here. Groceries, cashless, because we left that in the bank to shop uh, online and in person. And then home, we did stuff for this, but it stayed in the bank. All of these categories were cashless and remained in the bank, and I used my debit, okay? So it won't be stuff in today's video. And these will be the ones that I will be stuffing, okay? So for this envelope here, I will put $50 in eating out. It was actually $150, $100 in the bank, $50 is going in here if I need to get anything for the final two weeks, okay, before my next pay period. The next one is this one here, the kids. I am putting $50 um, for my kids. And let's see. Let me do that last because let's see how I want to do that. I want to do a five and like this which is 25 for personal and for my kids let's see I might do another 50 let's see if I have that and okay and then we're gonna do for the kids like this and make sure I have enough for Okay, and then we're going to do it like this. So 25 each for my son and one for my daughter. My oldest, she's all good for now. 
and she's working if she needs anything. And if she needs anything additional, she could always ask me and her dad. But for my two younger ones, I do stuff for them if they need anything for school. Okay, something's coming up. So I'm putting that for kids. And that is two 20s and two fives. 25 for each of them. And if one of them needs the funds more than the other and the other doesn't need it at all, it will go to the one that needs it. If none of them need it, it will go to their lunch account. I will put... Um, Ten dollars in each of their accounts, and the rest I'll do rollover for my saving challenges of an additional bonus video, okay? If needed, okay, or just put it in the bank. And then for personal, we've already done that. So the other categories that I'm going to be doing is the ones that I do for upcoming videos, okay? So what do I mean by that? I will be doing. Um, I've already done the 36 week. I mean, excuse me, my week stuffing which is my bi-weekly for week one and two a week one and two for the same hop we've already taken care of that i'm gonna pull twenty dollars for my upcoming mini mondays video okay and i'm gonna pull uh twenty dollars for that just to get that ready for when monday comes around and that'll be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty all right and so i'm pulled 20 singles and that will be okay just so i could divide it and write it out and i usually do this when i am getting paid i already pull out the money so i'll have it ready for upcoming stuffing okay in my videos and i ran out of these small ones and i went to the dollar store as i mentioned to you guys to buy some things uh prepping for the hurricane and so um I was able to purchase additional ones. And so for this one here, this one will go for Monday, and I'm abbreviating it, minis, okay? And that way my funds will already be there. I do not need to go to the bank and pull this out. Um, I have all of the funds already home to record if needed, whether my job is closed or whether the bank is closed, I will have that still remaining, okay? If that occurs, if not, the funds will already be here, okay? So that will be for midi, Mondays, Mondays, midis, however you would like to put that, vice versa, okay? The next one I will be doing is for my freebie Friday, and I will be putting, um, let's see, okay, so we'll be doing uh, 25 in singles, so we're gonna do 5, 10, oops, excuse me, guys, because I have some fives to go along with it because I'm gonna make it spicy, okay? A freebie Friday, and I'm gonna do in singles one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thir